Hello everybody, my name is Salvo Bonina and I'm a field application engineer at ST Microelectronics. Today I'm going to show you how to use our lighting application with the Blue Energy Mesh, the ST implementation of the Bluetooth Mesh Network technology. But first of all, we want to uh, explain what the provisioning is. The provisioning is the process by which a device joins the mesh network. Now, I want to give you some more details about the Bluetooth Mesh architecture. In the Bluetooth Mesh, the devices may have multiple roles. For example, we may have smart lights, smart switches, and power strip, and so on. Uh, so here we have to introduce uh, the elements. We should define the functionality of a single nodes. For example, a light uh, fixture may have four lamps, where each one is a separate element. And as a matter of fact, each element can be independently controlled. In the Bluetooth mesh, we have three types of address. Uh, first, the unicast, which is assigned to the device during the provisioning process, and it represents a single element in a node. And then we have the group address, which is a multicast address representing one or more elements in a one or more nodes. Uh, and finally, we have the virtual, which is uh, similar to the group address, but it's more like um, a label UID, and it can be referred to the name of a room, like the kitchen. The messaging model for the Bluetooth mesh is called Publish and Subscribe, where the nodes can publish messages using a unicast uh, virtual or group address. Uh, and then different nodes, for example the lights, can subscribe to receive uh, messages sent to a specific group or virtual address. With the Blue Energy Mesh app, we can easily add new nodes to the mesh network. After we open the app, in the first tab of the app, the one on the left, we can actually scan for new nodes to be provisioned, and we will see a list of nodes that may join the network. So we click on the plus button, and then the provisioner of the smartphone will distribute the security keys and configure the nodes to be part of the network. This process takes usually less than 10 seconds. Every time a node is provisioned, this is also automatically subscribed to the light group address so that we can control all the light nodes together. This is also possible to transfer the database of the provisioning nodes either by mail or cloud. So if we click on settings and then on exchange mesh configuration, from this new screen we can import and export the database. So let's choose the email option for exporting the, the current configuration from this tablet. They will generate a JSON file attached to the, to the message. So ready to send the uh, email message will be prepared. Here we just need to put the destination address and send it. On another tablet where we have access to the destination address email, we can save the attachment that we have just sent and it will be saved into the download folder. Download is complete. Then we can open the Blue Energy Mesh app and we can click on uh, settings and uh, exchange mesh configuration. Um, from this screen we can import a JSON file uh, to load the, the mesh configuration. It will prompt to overwrite the current configuration with the important one and then we click on yes. So now we can control the existing mesh network with the new tablet. I hope you enjoyed the video. For more information, please visit our website at thesteel.com. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.